If you've plateaued in weight loss and you're just stuck spinning your wheels and you can't get any leaner, today I'm going to share with you a comparative study that's going to prove my point that you can eat more food and lose more body fat. My name's Adam Bono. I'm an online fat loss professional, and I help men around the world break fat loss plateaus and get to the leanest body fat percentage they've ever been by manipulating their metabolism through correct nutrition. So I've quite literally worked with hundreds of men getting them to the leanest body fat percentage they've ever been by using a key mechanism called metabolic priming. So I've done dozens of case studies on my channel on metabolic priming. There's also dozens of case studies and testimonials that are going to be attributed to what we're about to talk about. So today what I want to talk about is something called the energy flux within your overall metabolic rate. So I'm going to be using a comparative study with the increasing energy flux to decrease the biological drive toward weight regain after weight loss, a proof of concept pilot study. So in this study, they took six obese pe people and they made them aggressively lose weight to monitor metabolic damage to weight loss. So they lost about 7% of their total body weight over the course of a couple months. So as time goes on, you, one thing that happens as you start to lose weight, your body starts to prevent you from losing weight in the form of decreasing your actual metabolic rate. So the two case studies that they've done with this, with this subject group of people is after they've lost a significant amount of weight, they split them into two groups. One group was, a, was group A, was kept sedentary pa past weight loss, and the other was given 500 more calories a day and told to move more. Right. So they took the two case studies together and with just within the first four days, the, the group of people that actually ate more and moved more actually repaired the metabolism and actually lost more weight. So moving more, you build your muscle, first of all. And you also have more nutrition at partitioning, right? So metabolic rate and metabolism comes down to one, a couple, a couple different things. One is going to be a big factor that play within your overall uh, body composition is going to be overall muscle tissue. So muscle tissue has a very high metabolic rate, which means that it takes a lot of calories to conserve muscle tissue, which also makes calories, the muscle tissue burn more calories. And so as you have more muscle tissue, your metabolic rate goes up. So there's a thing called energy flux that they're currently using with the with case study in this case study with group B who are moving more and intaking more right I mean, it's called energy flux increasing the total amount of calories that are certain currently flowing through your system it's the exact same process I use with all of my clients and it's how I get their metabolism to rise build more muscle and lose weight eating more food so as you start to raise the, these raise these guys calories one, a lot of nutrition partitioning takes place. Muscle tissue starts to go up because you are moving more in the, in the form of what we do in our program with is strength training and did increasing calories alongside of actual pro progressive overload within strength training. And, but also what happens is the sympathetic nervous system increases as well, which has a positive impact on fat burning, right? So like... For instance, like e, the sympathetic nervous system is the, is the overall response to the epinephrine and adrenaline that which actually mobilizes body fat. Because mo the actually burning body fat comes in two separate areas. It comes in the mobilization of body fat and then the oxidization of body fat. So the mobilization, the actual process of getting the fatty acid triglycerides within the fat cells to release is a process of mobilization, right? Which comes from epinephrine and adrenaline, right? So as you start to increase calories, there's more processes aligned with allowing your body to mobilize body fat, but also pairing that with, you know, actual, you know, strength training, which increases muscle tissue. So in this study, they even showed that the conclusion following weight loss compared to a sedentary LF state of energy balance, a short-term HF energy balance state associated with higher RMR, lower perceived hunger, and greater perceived fullness, all which could help attenuate the biological drive to regain weight. So what they're saying right here is that the people that actually ate more actually kept the body fat off for longer. So after you lost a lot of, a lot of weight, one, they went back to eating more food because one, this starts to uh, put you in a position where you're no longer going to be, you know, obviously hungry. And the people that stayed at a low calorie amount, but stayed more sedentary, got more hungry, right? And so there's a problem in today's society with like weight gain. A lot of people know how to lose weight, but they don't know what to do after they've lost the weight, whether that is understanding how to repair your metabolism or understanding how to navigate a plateau. And a lot of guys, they can make the great progress themselves. And 
it's not that hard at first like first of all yes you just it's just about eating more eating less and moving more but at a certain point you will hit a plateau and that's when biological processes aligned with your overall hormonal profile take over and you actually need to understand what's happening in the human body and so when you start to downgrade a lot of the metabolic processes a lot of the ca- like a lot of the actual calorie burning processes within your body start to lower as well. Like um, your not only your metabolic rate, which makes up 60% of your entire metabolism, but also cardio has less stimulus of effect because your body wants to actually adapt to doing that cardio. So the overall aspect of what this, this, this case study brings is that eating more food and moving more is a lot better than eating less and doing less because you have a larger effect with what's called energy flux, which is the total amount of calories burning through your system. So let's take two, two, two groups of people. One is burning 2,000 calories and eating 2,000 calories, and the other is eating 3,000 calories and burning 3,000 calories. So psychologically, what, you know, wh- wh- who do you think would actually burn more calories? Group B, right? Group, the group that actually ate 3,000 calories and burned 3,000 calories actually got leaner and was able to stay leaner because one, on top of that 3,000 calories, you have the back-end effect, the afterburn of having a higher BMR, having more effect of, of, of total energy expenditure within non-energy, non-energy activity thermogenesis. You're eating more food, which eating more food has a higher thermic effect. So all of these processes come into play. To, you have to understand that it's not always about eating less and doing more. There's certain processes that come into play where you have to understand how the body works and understand how the sympathetic nervous system works in order to get you unstuck from this fat loss plateau. And these are all the processes we use with every single one of our clients we work with around the world, and it works every single time. Because once you have an actual diagram with how the human body works, and you're not following just a plan you saw somewhere online, but you're actually following a plan tailored to you, it's a very very specific process that's very not only very attainable, but very very predictable. So with that being said, understanding this case study and understanding that the results that these two groups had that like, yes, they lost the same amount of weight in the first, you know, however many months of dieting seven, they lost 7%. But what happens after you lose initial weight depicts how much fat you further have to lose, can lose because the, the group that says sedentary they don't ever improve their metabolism, and they just stay there with a slower metabolic rate, and any time they do eat more food, they end up gaining weight, as opposed to the, the, the group B, who slowly raised their food, slowly started strength training, making sure they're moving more, they have less hunger, they're able to move more, and now the actual hormones within their body are actually coming into play for more fat burning in general. And that is how the process works. And then, for instance, if Group B wanted to gain, get even more, lose even more body fat, once they correct their metabolism by eating the 500 calories extra, what they can do is after some time, after the metabolic process and your metabolism heals itself, they can lower that 500 calories back. But now it has a greater stimulus because your metabolism is higher, allowing Group B the group who's moving more and eating more to lose even more weight. And that's how you do it. And that's the the process that is going to be not only sustainably wise, but the process that is going to keep you losing weight and not lose and not hitting a plateau every time. So if you're somebody who has been struggling to lose weight, but you want to actually produce predictable method and a sustainable method to actually get lean and stay lean, then we are accepting clients right now. We don't take everybody. Um, we don't take any. We don't. We have an application process, and if you do not qualify, we do not take you on. We've had five people within the last week that we've had to disqualify. But if you're a hardworking man and you're struggling to get lean, you've tried all these extra diets, and you're just kind of spinning your wheels. Sign up for a town down below, and we'll sit down and we'll see if it's a good fit for you to work with me and the rest of the guys that we currently work with. And if it is, we'll write you a proven predictable plan to get a, in, to achieve a strong and maintainable physique and feel the best you've ever had. So that link will be down below, but I'll see you guys next time.